Supercoach 360. Mission. Supercoach 360. Um, Supercoach 360 podcast. So, you got the uh, you got the mids there? I do, I do, I do. Now, top of the list is my boy, KB Heverington. Now, he's still there because, like I said to you, I'll delete the ones that aren't playing. But I left him there because he's a high chance of coming back next week and playing lock. Like I've heard massive, massive murmurs about that. Well, let's. And then I've heard. Wait and see. Yeah, Carrigan goes is, in. Is he a certified starter? Because I, I was surprised to see Carrigan named uh, and playing at lock when he did so well in the front row in the trials. So is this a COVID situation? And is he guaranteed? Well, that's what I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I'm saying, that could be a bit of a trap. All right, well, Broncos fans, do us a favour. Jump in the comments and let us know if you've got the inside word as to what's going on there, because. If he's going to be starting lock, then he might be someone who I would hold, especially if he covers that hooker position. He does. Over Chris Randall. So, uh, And then we got Hamion ULA. I think this year could be his breakout year, Hamion ULA. I did like him in the trials. He looked um, good. He looked busy. Looked like a worker. A couple of years ago, he, was, he looked Andrew for feet alike and then sort of dropped off when um, Woodsy and uh, AIDS came. Speaking of, I am seeing... Andrew Fafita in a shocking amount of teams because he's only 205.4K or something. He'll be, he'll be to, to, in my opinion, slow burn. But he's, you know what? If you remember back when he was in form and, and we, I think it was our first year, he was one of the must-have front rowers to yeah. have. I think he scored bloody 60 points in 17 minutes against the Parramatta Eels with like 16 offloads or eight offloads or something. Her, he's, I was going to say her, but his knees weren't battered with a baseball bat then. And I also think that I, I had him in my side at 205, but I I went up to Sipley just because he's coming off the bench and there's a, I, I just don't, don't see the minutes of him to do what he... I know what he was capable of. I used to love him. I used to love spending up in my forwards back in the day, but now I, I just think there's way too much you don't risk. When I think simply for an extra 50K starting with the yeah, PPM. Yeah, I like the start and tag. Start um, and tag yeah, just more, much better. allows more minutes. But I, I don't think starting matters so much in the front row. Nah. Whether they start or they don't start, they could both realistically play 50 minutes or they both... Both no, like but when you minutes. when it's when it's Sipley who was averaging twenty minutes, and some games he was getting four minutes or ten minutes, I think it makes a massive difference because you're not going to make us up within the first fifteen so twenty jump, minutes, guaranteed. Would anyone jump on a Ham New LA as a midi? No, no, trap. no. I'd go a bit cheaper. Is he a trap for you? No, he's so much trap. I just wouldn't touch just him. Do it. Yeah. All right. Now TC Rabadi. Now he's for me. He's he is mid range, but he's a bit of a trap. For me, um, not sure on his rotation. He seems to be the unfit, unfit looking one. If you catch my drift, he's a bit bigger. Um, and who they got there? Who else they got? That dude that you, Ricky, have, Ricky, and the other guy. But that guy you said next week will come back and. Uh, Pete Cura. Pete Cura. So he worries me with Robardi. Um, and they and well, they Robardi's already on the bench. Is he? Yeah. There you go. He's definitely trappish. Oh, yeah. Just don't go there, I don't think. Yeah. Now, Harris Tavita. Chanel Harris Tavita, boys. He's only going to play, what, two weeks at fullback? And then Reese Walsh one, is back. I one week. Now. One fullback. week, yeah. There you go. The suspension over. Harris Tavita, for me, won't be there next week, probably. Or if oh, he might jag a bench bottle. Yeah. Yeah, I've got no interest in Harris Tavita. we are restarting six bench. Fullback, whatever. So trap? Just, yeah, don't no, avoid. Avoid. Think. Guy, you got him in last year as a pod move towards his back end. I've bought, well, I don't think, you can't do it in classic, but if, if you've got draft, like I only one of my draft teams is to cover Walsh for the first week because if it's a one-week thing, um, but for classic, you need that longer term. So not, not as a classic buy, but I don't mind it as a draft. All right, so and Cobbo, named Brisbane winger. Yeah, he lost his appeal that straight away there. Yeah, same here. Twenty k. I was about to say awkwardly priced at three twenty k for a winger. Um, if he was full back, yeah, but not on the wing now. If we remember some scores that Azarko put up last year, weren't that great. But then there was those weeks he did go well. And what did you say? He looks a lot like a, a GI mold, Cobbo. The trail. Oh, the trail mold. So he could be the go-to guy for them. He very well could be, but at that price, I'll uh, I'll put a trade on it to get him in in a couple of weeks if he shows the form personally. Yeah, Stags is their go-to man. Yeah, 
Okay, then. Makishi Makatora. Makahesi Makatoja. Tuck Makatoa. Sorry, dude. Second row, front row, 14, but that's your problem. But should push for a spot. According to our guys, uh, Brad in particular, if you want to check out some more of Brad's stuff, www.supercoach360.com. Go, Brad. No, um, I don't think he'll push his way into a starting spot. Nah. Not over Campbell Gillard or Paul, though. And at 320k. Could he be worth a shout, though, off the bench? He seems to have a massive PPM uh, effort, man. Um, for me, I, 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 I'll have him in a watch list. I don't have him in my side at the moment, but he's definitely on my watch list. I had him in my side. I ended up dro- dropping him during some rejigs the other day, just trying to save some save some cash and spread it around a bit more. But Go without for cheaper options, without a start, he he would be a trap for me at the moment. Um, yeah. Just just without a start, most most of the blokes, especially unknown blokes, are a bit of a bit trappish. Like well, last year he got thirty five minutes for forty one points, thirty four minutes for thirty seven points, thirty minutes for thirty one points, and then sixty one minutes for seventy three points. So his PPM remains constant. He's about he had a one point one PPM last year, so he's going to need about at least forty five minutes, fifty minutes. To be worth getting a hold of, I think. But could he get that in the rotation, realistically, if it's a strong form no. of rotation? Well, you got Maddo in there, um, Paulo and Campbell Gillard starting, who are all, all paid big minutes. big minutes. And you got Nathan Brown not even in the 17. Yeah, so. that's right. I forgot about Brownie. Well, if he's not in the 17, you don't have to worry he's about injured. him per he's se. He's injured. Well, he's named, he's named in 18 jersey. He's yeah, in. could just be his cover. You never know with um, those. Okay, then are we moving on? But they've got Kafusi. Stone on the bench as well, who are all middles, so... Yeah. Now, Rocco Berry, awkwardly priced, Rocco, at um, 322 especially when now they've handed us a cheapy bottom dollar cheapy over there at the Warriors. So, for me, if you're going to go anyone at the Warriors, it'd be him. Uh, Rocco did show some good form in the trials. I didn't mind what I seen from Rocco. I thought he looked a lot better defensively than Which... the Warriors do with ball in hand. Oh yeah, which, which doesn't, doesn't quite help super him. Coach, so. Which might actually help out old mate the cheapy. Yeah, maybe. Which he might be more of an attack and prowess sort of fella. So I'd be looking into his name because I haven't written it down. Um, what about Leo? Yep. Uh, okay, moving on from Rocco, Jeremiah Nanai. Now second row forward only, two forty three seven k. Uh, both him and Lukey both named to start at at the cows. I'm staying away from both of them because they're at the cows. For, well, for me, I've got an NI in my squad at the moment. Um, I've got Lukey. Played four games last year, scored a try in, in one. Um, still walked away from a decent average. Of? 49, I think, or 47. Whereas the other one's two points different after 11 games or 12 games. Um, so you've got him ahead of Tuolangi it's in the second row there? and uh, not, No, no, I've got... And Bullimore? I've got... Either one of them is going to be a trap, so get on the okay. other one. I don't know which one is. <laughs> oh, is great! I'm going getting to be off that. both then. I didn't realise you've been talking a big game once again. I've seen him pop up in some of the other boys' lists, so I'm like, oh. Right. No, no. So, well, I had I had Lukey, and I had I had Lukey for ages, but then I seen. Let's say between Nanai, Katoa, and um the other Warriors fella, the cheapy. Aiken. Yeah. That's your second row, is it? I'll show you. My second row. No, let's not. No, I don't, yeah, I don't need to see it. I was just wondering. Yeah, it's pretty shit. It's pretty right. cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. So, Bergs is off his head already. I'm not, bro. I'm looking at Who where I'm going to make Bergs? money. Uh, Tom Starling now that uh, Hodgson's la- named at lock again. He's uh, not. He's named at hooker. Uh, he's named at hooker, I mean. <laughs> I, I can't get. I can't jump on Tom Starlin if if Hodjo's yeah, in, so in he's starting. A trap. So he's a trap. Starting thirteen. Yeah, all these are traps. Make sure. Super coach three sixty podcast.